Well, it's a day for Wednesday's child. Today we're focused on the future of children living in foster care who have been impacted by the pandemic. And Britt, it's got to be tough. Teens who are living in foster care may be the most at risk, right? That's absolutely right, Mackenzie. As children age in the foster care system, their chances of being adopted drop significantly. 87% of adoptions happen for children under the age of 10, and children between the ages of 11 and 15 make up only 10% of adoptions. Teens account for just 2%. That's where the adoption exchange really steps in, and they work exclusively to find permanency for those older children in foster care. Now, they had a hand in connecting Kyle and Drew, and the match has really made a big difference in both of their lives. We actually shot this story you're about to see in March, well before the pandemic had really reached Colorado. So you may notice there are no masks or social distancing, but have a look. So you want to grab a knife and start cutting up the potatoes? Cooking is one of the many things that Drew and Kyle have in common. Kyle and I have a very similar sense of humor. Um, you know, even when things get choppy, we usually laugh about it the next day. The two have been a family for more than a year now. Drew went from the single life to being a single father. It just feels really good to like be able to help somebody and to like help guide somebody and help them be successful. Kyle's journey includes seven years in foster care and a failed adoption that left him heartbroken. They gave me the option whether or not I wanted to be adopted and for like a good year and a half, I said no. When he opened his heart to adoption again, he found Drew. And a loving home has made all the difference for Kyle. Within two or three months of having a good, stable home, I got over most of my PTSD. He's really, I think, grown into like understanding that like he can mess up and not be in trouble. And he can have an opinion and he can have control of things. but also understands that like we got to work together as a new parent of a teenage son drew says that he's relied on the supports offered by the adoption exchange after the placement support that they give you is amazing with support and love both drew and kyle are growing into their new roles of father and son my whole life up until like 14 i was in a pretty terrible situation that has made me a lot more humble than most people in, in my current situation are. It's made me a lot more happy. <laughs> And that laughter is what it's all about, right? Kyle has a great situation now, and they're talking about it, even expanding their family to yet another child living in foster care. Now, we do have a phone make set up today, and staff members are manning it over at the Adoption Exchange. This is a live look now at them. They are available until 1030 tonight to take donations and to answer your adoption questions. Now, the number to call if you'd like to donate is 303-755-755. 3975 or you can text it's really easy text adopt to 91999 to give we also have a link at cbsdenver.com and Mackenzie today is an entire day dedicated to these kids we just want to make sure we help them and remind them that they are remembered today we will not forget them absolutely Britt such sweet kids and we'll check back with you later on so you can share some more of those success stories from the adoption exchange thanks so much